Bonjour encore, hello again. Okay, now I am on page five of your textbook. I'm looking again in the purple box space. Okay, to ask someone's name, remember how we just learned to versus vu? Now that you have that down, you're gonna put it in a sentence. This is exciting, guys. Okay, I'm on the left column where it says to informal, which you already know because you're a genius. The little conversation goes like this. Tu t'appelles comment? Je m'appelle Marc. One more time, just to get your French ear on. Tu t'appelles comment? Je m'appelle Marc. How are you named? I am named Marc. Literally saying je m'appelle means I call myself. But that's just the word they use. Appelé is literally the verb to call. So there you go, you know a little something extra. Then over there on the formal side with the vu, Here's how that conversation goes. Comment vous appelez-vous? Je m'appelle Jean-Michel. One more time. Comment vous appelez-vous? Je m'appelle Jean-Michel. See the difference between where we use to and vu for formal and informal? It's also important to know, um, and it's not listed in your book, that another way to ask informally how some, uh, what someone is named, you can say, Comment t'appelles-tu? So, tu t'appelles comment? Or, como t'appelles tu are equally just as good. I'm just giving you options. Okay, I'm at the second bullet point. Introducing yourself to someone informally with tu. Here's how that conversation goes. Salut, je m'appelle Brian. Tu t'appelles comment? Salut, je m'appelle Jean-Pierre. Says, hello, I'm named Brian. How are you named? Hi, I'm named Jean-Pierre. All right, then over there on the formal with vous. Bonjour, je m'appelle Lisa Beau. Comment vous appelez-vous? Bonjour, madame, je m'appelle Chloé Lebon. All right, so remember, at any time if you have any questions, shoot me an email or make sure you come by at my office hours. Okay, I'm at the next bullet point. A simpler way to ask someone how they're named. I'm also going to give you a little excitement right here. If you're using the to word, you're speaking informally, you just introduce yourself. I would say, je m'appelle Madame Bits, and add a toi, where it says E-T-T-O-I. That little tiny question is pronounced a toi. Now, you've probably heard something really similar to this. Remember back in high school when they made you read Julius Caesar and Shakespeare was the greatest writer in English ever? Well, he's not the greatest in French. You've seen the word tu, and now you've seen this little question, a toi, and you're wondering what's going on because you remember that famous phrase, a tu brute. Well, he got his grammar wrong. It should have been a toi. And now you know. So now you can hold a little something over Shakespeare's head. You are smarter in French than he was. Good for you. Okay, moving on. I am still at that uh, third bullet point. And it's also letting you know that whenever that you're talking to someone that you address as VU, you can introduce yourself, you can tell them your name, but wait for them to introduce themselves. Do not say a toi. It's really impolite. And, oh, the French are very, very particular about their politeness, which is a good thing. Okay, so now I'm beneath that. In the purple where it says tu, the informal. Salut, je m'appelle Marc. Et toi? Je m'appelle Ahmed. Enchanté. Now, I am sure you have heard this word, seen it in cheesy points in movies or whatever, but it really is a real French word. It just means glad to meet you. So go impress the next person you see. All right, now that I'm, I'm in the purple section where it says vous in the formal, and that conversation goes, Bonjour, monsieur. Je m'appelle Madame Smith. Je m'appelle Michel Tradif. Enchanté. Very good. Stick with me. You're doing a good job. Now, the next uh, little section is showing you abbreviations, just like we have abbreviations in English. For Mr., instead of spelling it all the way out, we say MR period. For Mrs., MRS period. For Ms., MS period. By the way, if you ever want to address me, I prefer Ms., the MS period, but I won't be upset if you use Ms. Okay, so for Monsieur in French, in French, you use M period. For Madame, M-M-E. 
For mademoiselle, again, if you're choosing to use it, M-L-L-E. Now in your book, it doesn't put periods after the female abbreviations, but it's okay whether you do or don't. That's totally up to you. It's not a hard and strict rule, as some will be. So while you can have a little freedom, I'm letting you make a choice. So what we learned in this lesson, quick recap. To and vu, when you are asking and introducing yourself and being introduced to someone. To for the informal, vu for the formal. You wait for someone who you address as vu to introduce themselves. If you want a little easier way to ask someone else's name, you introduce yourself first, give your name, and then tack on a toi. So our phrases are, Como t'appelles tu? Tu t'appelles comment? And como vous appelez-vous? Again, if you have any questions, you know where to find me.